today's video I'm just going to do a quick run through of all the different materials and tools that I use as it's something I'm asked quite a lot and I thought you'd all find helpful. So the first material I'm going to show you all is one that I'm asked about a lot. I think in all my social media posts I'm always asked what paper do I use. So this is the paper I use. It's the Fabriano Artistico Hot Press Watercolour Paper. Um, I use it in £140 extra white. This is the 12 by 18 inch pad. Uh, it's a very sturdy paper. Um, it's got quite a lot of tuss. It takes several layers and I use a lot of layers in my portraits. Um, it's also, uh, it takes hard pressure very well because I like to burnish in my portraits and I can, I know I can be quite hard um, with my pencils on the paper and the paper doesn't break, it's very sturdy. Um, I've used lots of different papers in the past um, and I've always come back to Fabriano because I think it works best for my style and technique. The next material I'm asked for as well in all of my posts is what pencils do I use? So most of you will know I use three different kinds of pencils. The ones I use mostly are these Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils. Uh, these are the ones I first started out with and ones I would recommend the most. They are an oil-based colour pencil um, and what I love about the Polychromos most is they are they have very hard leads um, so they keep the point very well um, and I find them perfect for the details in my portraits. Any kind of um, like fine lines and tiny tiny details I always go for my Polychromos and they have 120 colours, um, so there's a very wide range of colours with them. The other pencils I use are, uh, when I find one, the Carandache Luminance pencils, these ones. Um, I absolutely love these at the moment, they are my favourite pencils right now. They have a very soft lead compared to the Polychromos, but I find them excellent for blending. Um, I'll use them mainly for my base layers, and then if I need to burnish over the top, I'll always go for my luminance pencils. Um, the other pencil I use are same as Carandachi again. Uh, these are the Pablo pencils. They are quite similar to the Luminance. I would say they're about in between the Polychromos and the Luminance. They're not as soft as the Luminance, but then they're not as hard as the Polychromos. Um, and I think the Pablos, I really love all the different colours um, Pablos have. They have colours that the Polychromos and Luminance don't seem to have. They have, like, for example, this pencil is the brownish orange. Um, Pablo pencil um, and then there's also the cocoa and I think the brownish beige these are some of my favorite colors because it's sort of like in between colors which the luminance and the polychromos don't seem to have um, there is a fourth pencil that I've only just started using and that is the Derwent Lightfast colored pencils um, these are quite new. Um, a lot of artists are starting to discover them now. Um, they, I would find the, I say they're very similar to the Luminance. They are very, very soft, but they're also super pigmented. I only have a handful of these at the moment, but I am hoping to expand and get some more because I really am enjoying the Derwent Lightfast pencils at the moment. Um, so thirdly is what sharpeners do I use? Now, I've tried many, many different sharpeners, um, but the one I always go back to is the Faber-Castell Trio Pot. Um, so it actually has, it's three different um, little pots that I can use, but I always use this one by here, the, the little small one. So I use this one for my Polychromos pencils and for my Pablos. But the luminance are just a little bit too big to fit in um, the trio pot. So the same with my Duo and Lightfast pencils as well. They, they're about the same thickness as um, the luminance pencils. So what I use instead is this little guy. Um, 
I'm not sure it's gonna focus. No, it's a, I think you say Kum, it's K-U-M. Um, it's a masterpiece sharpener. You can see it's got two um, slots in there. Um, so what it does, um, first off, the first slot, the, the large one by here, it sharpens just the barrel of the pencil. And then you put it into the second one, which then sharpens the uh, lead of the pencil. If I can find one that's already quite sharp. I've sharpened a Pablo here. You can see it gets super, super long points um, with the masterpiece. So I sometimes use the Pablos in um, the trio pot and sometimes I use it in the masterpiece. It depends on the feeling. <laughs> um, so they're the two sharpeners that I use. Um, I've always used the trio pot, um, which I would highly recommend for the polychromos pencils it's just it only lasts me about two weeks but um i haven't found a sharpener that is consistently good with my polychromos as much as the trio pot um so the next thing i'm going to show you is my erasers now this is one i use a lot and that's a putty eraser so it's kind of like blue tack but it's a lot softer and it's made for erasing pencils so this i use for um, erasing my graphite lines and i also use it for tidying up my paper so if i've got like any smudges or like a little bit of pencil dust or any kind of marks this easily gets rid of any um, bits of any marks or smudges but i also like using um this putty eraser to take off some of the pencil and it'd be a good technique for adding in some highlights as well so you can just like dot on the paper and it'll just lift some of the pigment another eraser i use is it's tombow mono eraser my camera isn't focusing today so you can't read it um, but I know a lot of artists use these. Um, it's kind of like a mechanical pencil. So you, you can just click it up and you have the eraser coming out the end. Um, this one, I sometimes use it for um, getting rid of my graphite lines as well. Um, but it's also excellent for adding in highlights. So you can use it very, very, very lightly on your page um, and it'll just take away some of the pigment um, if you need any highlights or some like white areas or if I've gone like too dark on a piece I'll use this lightly to get some of the pencil off um, the last tool I'm going to show you is one that's getting a, a very popular with artists as well um, and I think I go on about it all the time and that's my slice tools so this is the um, pen is the manual pen tool so it looks like this and it has the little blade coming out here and it's a ceramic blade I have done a video on it before but I will be doing an updated one soon so it's got um, a ceramic blade which you use to sort of gently take some of the pencil off the page it doesn't mark the page I have many people asking am I like making grooves in the paper or like scraping the paper but all it does is you use it very very lightly and you sort of is it like lifts some of the pencil and it can be really effective um for highlights especially in mains um for doing very very fine highlights there's also another slice tool i use this is the precision tool the difference between these two is this one has quite a large blade um, and then this one is absolutely tiny and I'm not sure if you can see just how small that tiny little blade is. But this one I like using more for mains because um, you can get, you know, those really tiny little straggly flyaway hairs. This one is excellent for, whereas this one I'll use um, if I need like in the coat, if I need to get highlights, then it's a little bit thicker and it's a little bit softer as well. So they are all my tools that I use. Um, if you have any questions, you can pop them in the comments below. Um, there will be more videos coming soon and more tutorials. 
So press that subscribe button um, and give me a like if you like this video and I hope it helped you all. Thank you for watching. Bye.